Good morning, I am Natalie Aguinaga Wilson and I will be starting off the presentation for Group 12, Alvatronics. The product we will be showcasing today is Lighthouse, a automated home lighting system. Here is our team. Again, I am Natalie Aguinaga Wilson, the project manager for Team 12. My strengths include programming and knowledge of microcontrollers. Zoe Godinez is our documentation lead and Miller Chang is our research and development lead. Lighthouse is a home automated lighting system. What sets our product apart from others on the market is its AI capabilities. Our AI module allows for human detection. The device is designed to function in any home through the use of a smart plug. Our main goal for Lighthouse is to provide energy efficient alternatives to consumers. As mentioned previously, unlike traditional automated lighting systems that respond to any detected motion, Lighthouse is only triggered when a human is detected. Our product incorporates a camera and AI module to validate whether lights should turn on, stay on, turn off, or stay off, which greatly reduces power consumption in a consumer's home. And here's the level of technical understanding. I'm going to break this part into the three minor parts. The first one is the AI. The second one is the hardware. And the third one, of course, is the software. For the AI, we're able to burn the AI module into the system on chip. Uh, the system on chip we're going to use is K210, and we'll talk about it later. And because of the early searching, uh, we know we have a basic knowledge of, of how AI works and how AI human detection works. Secondly, it's the hardware. We're going to use PIR sensor, transistor, resistor, and I.O. port is on the SOC. Uh, we're able to set up I.O. port on the chip to receive signal from PIR sensor and set signal out for transistor to turn up to light up the, the LED and the resistor right here is for the LED because because the LED cannot take that much of current we need resistor to bring the current down and third one last one is the software we're going to use micro python basically is as same as python we configure python code for AI module to determine when to turn on the light and when to turn it off and uh... so for our prototype quality and completeness um, the, quali the quality is satisfactory there are some parts of the design that could use a little more work for example the casing has some aesthetic flaws but it is still functional as for completeness we were able to get our AI module to detect humans we were able to code an LED to turn on when a human is detected, and we were able to complete our 3D printed casing. Unfortunately, we are unable to utilize our ESP32 module, which would have been used to send a signal to a smart lighting system to toggle the house lights. Um, before we explain how it works, I want to talk about the K210. The Kendrity K210 is the system on chip, so-called SOC, that integrates machine vision and machine hearing. Because our, our project is focused on human detection, so we're more focused on the machine vision. K210 can perform convolutional neural network calculation with low power consumption and has capabilities of object detection, image classification. So here are our block diagrams. On the left is our hardware block diagram. Uh, the main part is right there in the middle, the Max Duino, and it comes with a camera and an AI module, which is the K210 that we just talked about, and a Wi-Fi module, which is the ESP32. And on top of that, there's the PIR sensor, which would send a signal whenever it senses motion to the Max Duino to turn on the camera and turn on the, the AI module. And then from there, the ESP32 would send a, a signal through Wi-Fi to a smart plug or any smart device to turn on the light. And on the right, we have our software block diagram. Um, first, like I said, the PIR sensor would detect a signal. If there's no signal, the lights would stay on. Um, if there is a signal, the the AI module would detect if it was human or not, 
and if it's a human, the lights would stay on. If it's not a human, like for example a dog or an animal or a shadow maybe, I don't know, um, it would turn off. And for problems and solution, um, one of our problems was dealing with uh, coding in Python, since most of us were used to C and C++. Um, most of the documentation for the Maxduino was in Python, so we had to learn pretty quickly. Um, another problem we had was the Maxduino itself. None of us were really familiar with it before doing this project, and there wasn't that much documentation on it. Um, specifically when it came to the ESP32 module, which we had a lot of problem finding resources for. Um, we, could, we were able to find resources for the ESP32 individually, but once we were searching for the integration with Maxduino, um, there was very limited documentation. Okay. So. Uh, although we are not able to configure our ESP32, we still have a very short clip that showing our K210 can detect human. So as you see, when I'm standing in front of the camera, it will have a box around my body and it means, okay, the SOC is catching a human. So once I walk out to the uh, lens, the box will disappear. When I walk back, it appear again. And here's a picture of our final poster. It's just a summarization of everything that we went over today. And if you have any questions, let us know. Thank you.